So we better start getting the camping stuff packed, ready for our winter's camp. So I'm going to get my top box loaded now, get my panniers done, get the tent ready in its waterproof bag, uh, whatever else I need, packing, sorted, so at least next week we can just get up and go. So that's a bit miserable at the moment. It was a lovely morning today, up until about dinner time, and it's just turned horrendous. So, right, let's get some packing done. Right, waterproofs. I've got a feeling we're going to need them. A fold up table. I'm going to use that. I'll use that as it is, flat in the tent, so I can stand my heater on it. Uh, what else do we need? Bog wall, you never know. If ever you get stuck, it's always handy to have some of that. Uh, toothpaste, we need that. Rock straps, we definitely need them. Uh, bed pump, we're going to need that. Toothbrush, we need that. Headlamp, head torch, shall we say. We're going to need that. Uh, Gaviscon, you never know if you have too much to drink and you get a bit of indigestion. Camping towel, phone charger, we definitely need that, right there's the rock straps, we need them, so we'll keep them out and these are the other spare straps, we don't need them, mortar tool, we need that just in case. Right, we'll get this in there, I can put the eater in there, and then we'll check what's in the panniers. So there we go. So we've got my sleeping bag in this one. Quite a big sleeping bag, keep me nice and warm. In this one, I've got the electric hook-up lead, my airbed, and my waterproofs. So all I've got to put in the top box Here's my pillow on the top. Box straps are on ready. Tents there ready. Panniers. Bottom add ons, phone mount ready. And that's it. She's ready for next weekend camping. Bring it on! Oh Jesus, right then, here we are, I'm all out of breath now, I've got that many layers on, I can't move. Right, so it's the 8th of January, it's 5 degrees, and we are going winter camping in Bridge North. Jeez, I can't even move, I've got that many layers on. I've only got my waterproofs on, but I've got a t-shirt, heated jacket, Road skin, armoured hoodie, and then my waterproof jacket. So I'm feeling a bit restricted. Thank you. It's absolutely hoofing it down at the minute. But I don't think it's going to be as bad later. So it's myself, Flash, and Viper. Motorway was meant to be coming, but um, I think he's woke up with a sore mangina. 
because she's decided you don't want to do it. To be honest with you, I'm quite gutted at that because me and Vic started this winter camp. It was us two what started it and now he's pulled out. And he's not doing the France tour in July. So the dynamics I'm a little bit upset. You know, Vic's been with us more or less from the start. It wasn't really there when we started Motorev, but he, he joined very soon after. And we had done nothing without Vic. Vic's been a part of everything. So now, he's not, feels a bit weird. Vic! It's not the same, mate. I'm gonna say it, it's not the same. But we understand your choices and your decisions and we respect them. Right, I think it is about time for some heated clothing. We have got the brand new Gerbing Extreme heated gloves. This is the babies. Let's just swap the camera again. So these are the Extreme heated. Let's put them on. And I've got a little video of me trying them out. So that's the Gerbing XRL. It's quite a long cough. This is the Gerbing Extreme. So the cuff's not that much different. The button's lower down here to the wrist. And the difference on these, which Gerbing said, the stitching and the seam is on the outside. Whereas these, it's on the inside. So instead of feeling the seam against your finger, it's on the outside. Now feeling the difference, these feel the new ones, the extremes, it feels a slightly tougher leather. Let's see what the difference is. But what I'll do is before I enable the extra heat mode on these, we'll try them on the normal temperature. These are going to come in just perfect for this weekend's winter camp. Right now already these, the extremes, these feel a lot more padded than the XRLs. Right, so that's the first setting. Extreme XRL. So on setting one, they both feel the same. Right, setting number two, amber. Yep, they both feel about the same. Setting number three. Ah. So that's the difference. The extreme has got setting one blue, setting two amber yellow. And the next setting, the red one, is the one you unlock, where the XRL has got blue setting one, amber yellow setting two, red setting three so to unlock these extremes it says to press and hold this button for 10 seconds until it turns red right, that's it right so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to run the engine on the bike so the xrls they are on the hot setting already they're going to put the extremes on the hot setting That's a lot hotter already. I can feel it here, getting very hot. I can now feel it all down the fingers, getting hot. I can feel it round here. I can feel it a lot here. Yeah, there's a big difference from the setting three on these to setting three on these. Wow, that's a massive difference. The fingers feel more 
padded on these extremes. I can actually feel this now getting very, very hot across the knuckles. I think with your hand on the bar like that, you won't be able to wear these for too much on set on that setting. Now what I've noticed is I can feel the heat here when I touch it on my face on the outside of the glove. On these, you can't feel the heat on the outside. So I'm just wondering if the heating element is another layer deeper, closer to the skin. There is a big difference. A big difference in the heating on them gloves. And actually, as I'm pressing that down, ooh, that was getting quite, quite hot, that was. Yeah, I can't feel the heat on the outside. Well, on those, I can. So that's the Extreme, Gerbing Extreme heating gloves. So they're in the next level up in heating. There's a lot of other gloves set there on the market. A lot of the others are claiming to be the best in the UK. Gerbing, the world's number one heated gloves. And heated jacket, heated trousers, heated socks. Those are going to be perfect for the weekend. So it's about one degrees now. It's starting to rain. I believe it's going to turn to snow. So I think the winter's camp is going to be interesting. Put on my heated socks. On to number three. I feel I don't need my heated jacket on yet. But extreme heated gloves. So these have got the lockable setting where it is advised at your own risk you unlock that extra hot setting. But I unlocked it straight away and instantly these gloves are hot. Whew. Oh yeah, there's a big difference in them actually. I did try them in the shed, plugged into the bike, and they were warm. I put the Extreme on one hand, and an XRL on the other hand. Settings one and two were the same. Setting three, which was the hot setting, is where it's the big difference. God, they are hot actually. Yeah, definitely don't need, well it's now up to six degrees, definitely don't need the heated jacket on yet. I've got enough layers on my top. To be honest with you, I think I could have done without the heated jacket. I don't think I needed that. January, six degrees, torrential rain. Let's go camping. Well, I've got everything packed. I've only brought the basics with me. Just my tent, my airbed, sleeping bag, my heater, my pillow. What I have done this time, I've bought one of those, it's like a foam mat. It's like a camping mat. You know, I think hardcore campers would lie on this mat. But what I'm doing, I'm using the mat to put underneath my airbed because I've noticed something. Is when your airbed's on the cold floor of the tent, especially at this time of year, I think what happens is the cold floor makes the air cold. I think that's when you feel the cold underneath you. So I think because you've got the the air warm in the tent, you know, the top part of you and your sleeping bag part is warm, but underneath the part of you where you're lying on the airbed, it's cold underneath you, so your back's cold. And I think that's purely because the air's cold. Right. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to turn these gloves down. Extreme, you are extreme. I can confirm. You're too much for me. You've beat me. I'm taking you down to setting number one. I don't think there's any other glove out there of all these other manufacturers who are trying to follow suit and catch up with Gerbing. Where the gloves will actually burn you, but they, was, they were getting too hot. I couldn't cope with that. Yeah, so back to the airbed. So, yeah, I was finding my back was cold. And I think that's because the airbed is against the 
the thin layer of the floor of the tent. Obviously the floor's cold, it's just making the air inside the airbed cold. So I'm going to try like one of these little insulator mats you lie on. I think it stopped raining. Let's give you a wipe. Well, I think it has. Let's hope there's a bit of blue sky appears later. That'll be nice. So where are we camping? The place we're camping at is called Halfway In House in Bridge North. Viper's coming in his motorhome. Viper's not on his bike in a tent because I think his mangina was playing up a bit last night as well. So he's coming in the motorhome. What the mistake I think I've made in this colder temperature is these boots, perforated boots. When I'm slowing down like this, my socks seem to be getting hotter. But it's not, I think what's happening, as I'm driving in the wind, the perforated is letting the cold down into my boot. So it's cooling my feet down. But I'm happy with setting three. I'm not increasing the setting on my socks. My feet are not cold, that's the main thing. Whereby now, before, oh God, I'll be, I'll be crying. Well, my boy can cut out since I've been using E5. Evil fuel. Evil. I will only use that now when I have no option. I'm forced to. And I'll only probably use it is when I know I'm going to empty the tank. I'll tell you what is getting cold. And I've said this before about this bike. My nuts out. Oh, I've got a lot of fun, didn't they? Um, my nutsack is freezing. That's the only thing I've noticed. That's the only criticism I have about this VFR. Is that front part of the tank. It's quite a long tank. So as your legs go around the tank, it sits right in you. But your nutsack is right up against it. The tank's bloody freezing. I've noticed that before. I think Goose is planning on going out tomorrow. Maybe he's got all his heated clothing. Now Goose has got all his eating clothing, he's prepared to go out now in spring, and not just summer. So, Elam Valley, Elam Valley, whichever you want to call it, in May, we managed to increase to 50 pitches, sold out. We sold that out in, it was probably about 6-7 hours, sold every pitch. So that's going to be a bell for that is. But we've got our Patreon, our Patreon page. And all the money that goes into our Patreon goes to that weekend. Doesn't go in our pockets, we don't take a penny of it. And what we do with that money, we use that money to buy things. So we'll ask, we'll probably get some jeans or something or something from Roadskin, some Kevlar jeans. I'll see if we can afford to buy something from Gerving. But all that money we use to give to the people weekend we normally buy a load of drinks so the Eden Valley weekend is on the Friday and the Saturday then we go home Sunday morning Bear is planning on going there on the Thursday which will be the 12th I believe he's planning on going on there on the Thursday and he wants to do a little tour on the Friday in the daytime around Black Mountains in Wales the Top Gear routes and that so any of you who've booked to go to Adam Valley on the Friday and Sunday, if you want to go a day earlier on the Thursday, set up Thursday night and then Friday in the morning, the day Bear will take you on a little mini tour. If you're interested and you want that extra day, jump onto the private Facebook group and what I'll do, because everybody's paid for the camping, I'll make a little, another payment just for that extra night if you want it. Probably won't be many, as most people will be working Thursday, but if you're interested and you want to go with Crazy Bear on a little mini tour, just jump on the Facebook page and I'll put the information on there. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to brighten up a bit. We must be mad, aren't we? We must be mad. But they are adventures. Now remember, Craig, you've got panniers on. Oh yeah, can you see my little key ring there? 
my little motor I've won. Right safe. Can you see it? Let's turn it over. Right safe and motor I've on the other side. Now we had those key rings from one of our young subscribers. Absolutely chuffed. And they're close to Goose, so they popped it round to him. So I've got a little video actually. So let's put the video on. Hello, my name's Lincoln and welcome up to Rev. So I've got these for Maverick and Goose as a present because I'm a massive fan. What about that? Wasn't that nice? Nice little gesture there. So me and Goose, we've got the key rings on our keys. They go everywhere with us. And when you're older, buddy, get yourself a bike. I know your dad's on about getting one, and you'd have to come out with us. Come out on some rides, on some tours. Come and be with a motor of boys. So thank you for that, Lincoln. Much appreciated, buddy. Our number one fan, and also, in return, Goose went round with a motor of cap for Lincoln and his dad. I love our little video with that as well. Just want to say thanks to Craig, Goose, everyone at Maltrev for what you do. You're yeah, um, the best, you my best YouTuber on there. And you do an amazing job. Everything you do, you put your time, effort into all that. I just want to say thank you for these. They're absolutely lovely. What have you got to say, mate? They're really nice and comfortable. Definitely, I love them. Thank you very much. Love all the work you do. Oosh. Thank you. I've said a few police officers. Oh dear. Oh, what's going on there? Now this is a lovely ride through Bridge North, but the only thing is in the wet, and the wind you have to be careful of, is there's that many overhanging trees. You get a lot of rubbish dumped on the road surface, and it can get a bit greasy and a bit slippery. It is a notorious road, this is, for motorcycle deaths. There has been quite a few. Doesn't seem so bad the last few years. It just seems to have calmed down a bit. I think we've got um, Mike Davis today popping in to see us, a local lad, one of our followers. I think he's at work this morning, he said he might pop into the pub to us on his way. That was nice of him, a police officer. He gave me the two finger salute. Thank you Mr Police Officer. So actually, with these perforated boots, I think my socks might be wet. Pot noodle, Pete noodle. So he's joined us this year into the Motrev team. And I wouldn't say he's new to biking, but he's only, he's not had his license as long as the rest of us. And he's coming to France as well. So I think France will be, same as with us, it'll be a nice breaking first European tour for him. And then what we're going to do is next year we're going to do the Swiss Alps. Go through Luxembourg, Germany, then Switzerland. Cross over the border into Italy. Go and do some of the passes. So one thing I love about these Gerbin gloves is the wiper blade you get there on the thumb. It's absolutely brilliant. I always remember coming back. Yeah, it was coming back when we came back from our Normandy tour. I remember Bear had some of this this visor spray. He said, put some of this on. It stops the water. Bear, I don't know what you give me. I reckon he give me his, his suntan lotion. I put it on my visor, the rain hit it. It turned white, it was like milk. I couldn't see anything. I think he gave me his Factor 50. And there will be some news coming soon. I will have some new information and something new to show you from Drift cameras. Quite looking forward to that. But I can't say anything at the moment. I cannot give any indication to what it is. I'll tell you what, these gloves are lovely on setting too. Oh, it's up to eight degrees. It's nearly summertime. 
Oh, halfway house is here. Is it here? There's the flash moisture. Right, we're just going to get set up. Goose and Wade are here. They're in the pub already, sitting in the warm. Let's pop you there. So the tent's set up, we've got everything we need, water, I've got me a bottle of red diesel. Got my little heater going. Lovely jubbly. I could have done with an iPad up there actually, I could have watched, could have watched the film. It's a cracking tent, this is, this little slum is ideal. Well, I'll get him back in the pub to have a drink with the boys. Here we are, this is it, the halfway house. And in there should be Wade and Goose. And look at this, torrential rain, sun's coming out over there. Lovely little country, look at it. This is the pub. The pub is just like someone out of American Wealth in London. It's got a lovely open fire. So we're just camping through here. Let me show you the path. That's where we're going to go and sit in there. That's the pub. We come through this little gate. There we are. There's me and Flash's tents. Just round here. That's the main campsite, but at least we are secluded there. We've got a wind, bit of wind protection around us. There's the bikes. So that's where the bikes are staying for the night. Well, let's go and see. What the entrance flash is just round here. I'm just going to have a look inside. Right, let's go and have a look inside. Look at this for a door. Look at this. Hello. It's all right then. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Talking politics. Talking politics. There we go, he's the inside of the pub. Hello Goose. Hello. Say hello to Vic. Hello Vic. Morning Vic. Say hello to Vic. Hi Vic. Have you paid for your um, camping yet? No, not yet. Say hello to Vic. He is Vic, isn't he? No, we've got his like a sack in on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. No levers or anything yeah. like that. Oh, dear. Why is that you, Bob, then? Camera. Say hello. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 you don't vlog in on YouTube. We do videos. We've got a YouTube channel. So you'll, you'll be famous after yeah. tonight? Uh, I don't have to be on YouTube. <laughs> 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 we'll cut you out. <laughs> We're just promoting the pub. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what you'll be having to eat at seven o'clock? Have you any ideas? Let's have a look. Let's look at the menu. Let's have a look. Yeah, we might as well order now. That's fine. So here we are. Half past five, and it is pitch black. You cannot see a thing. The wind's dropped, and the temperature feels like it's come up a hell of a lot. So it's a hell of a lot warmer now than it did earlier. There's a bit of bitterness to the wind earlier. Oh, we've even got our own security lights on our tents. Yep, tents I'm fine. Let's go and check on the bikes. Yeah, so I'm sitting in this pub and it is all just the locals what are coming in. So we're getting to hear all the little different stories. Yeah, here's the bikes. The bikes I'm safe. Absolutely riffy. On the way down, it absolutely hammered it down. So that's going to need a good clean when we get back. It's a cracking little place. How about this is uh, great in the summer. Yeah, it's definitely a lot warmer now. that let's go in and have another drink do you leave this door open of a night the front door no. oh no. i was thinking at about two o'clock you might find me there near my sleeping bag in front of the fire <laughs> in that in that box <laughs> oh, i'll keep it going Don't you <laughs> So, uh, so what's in these? Any of these buildings? Are they like cottages? So, ah, right. So, how many of how many is there? Three cottages there. Yeah. And then where your tents are, you see the the doors. Yeah, they're cottages. Ah. Barns and doors and So, they all originally yes. part of this, like. Yeah, they used to stay there. Now then, providing shelter for his Winnebago. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are, we're back in the tent. We've been kicked out of the pub. We were the last ones in there. We've seen all the locals coming. Got to hear all the stories. The first local coming, that sit down and have their point with the dog. We'd hear their story, they'd get up and go. The next local would come in, we'd hear their story, so I think we went through the whole village. But we had some great food. The chef himself, he's Italian, he's a biker, so we had a good chat with him. Mike Davis come to see us. Nice to see you, Mike. Had a good chat with you, he sat with us all night actually, and that was a good, good chat. So, back in the app. It's freezing outside, I think it's about, it's got to be down to two, one degrees. But we've had the heater on in here, in this little tent. It's absolutely roasting in the tent. So it's going to be well covered for you in here. So we're going to get up, we've got breakfast in the pub in the morning. The 
the table's been laid already. So we've had a good night. It's been a good day. Weather's turned out fantastic. The only rain we had was getting here. Apart from that, it's been it's been brilliant. It's been dry. Nice blue skies. It's a clear night tonight. So it'll be lovely and dry tomorrow. So it'll be a nice ride home tomorrow. So at least we got to do our winter camp this year. That's another one done. I think I might tuck into me into my bottle of red wine now. Have myself a little tipple to get to sleep. Goose and Wade come down earlier. So it was good to see them. Right. See you in the morning. Night night. Beautiful morning. Right, I did my toothbrush. Just gonna have a wash. sleep actually wasn't cold at all he to work to treat right it's gonna get washed and brush my teeth and let's get some breakfast morning look at this it's lovely right let's go get showered brush my teeth get ready for breakfast flashes to the sleep heat to work perfect it's lovely and warm I think vipers to the sleep I know. Oh, Breakfast is ready. Yeah. Oh, look yeah. at 
this. None of this slumming it and eating a pot noodle. Yeah. I think that, yeah. What is it? It looks like yeah. sausage. Yeah, that's what that's I put in. What is it? Black pudding, but white. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. We are all packed up. Flash is packed up. He's about to go. There he is. He's got his lid on. What a beautiful morning it's turned out to be. Viper's gone. In his motorhome. So this place, halfway house in Cleebury Road, Bridge North, Shropshire. Love the place. We said we'll come back. Come back about March or bring more of us when the weather's better. Some of them will come and camp. Well, there we go. We are done. Flash has just pulled off. He's just gone. Switch on my heated gloves. Setting number two. I don't need the extreme setting at the moment. I don't need the heated jacket on. I feel at the moment. I feel okay. Right. That's um, Antonio, the chef here. He's Italian. He was a great bloke. We had some great conversations with him last night. He's heading back over to Italy as well. He's going to be doing a tour over the Swiss Alps and back into Italy. So it's nice uh, meeting you, Antonio. Halfway house. Thank you very much. We had a lovely weekend. I had uh, a decent enough sleep last night, did the usual, which you normally do when you're camping, especially in winter. You know, every time you turn over you, you do wake up. I kind of did that all through the night. It was lovely and warm with my camper heater on. That kept me nice and warm all night, that did. But sometimes I had to turn it off, I was getting too hot. So the cold was not an issue. That little thin insulated mat I put underneath the airbed is that that's a winner that definitely worked that stopped the the air inside the airbed getting cold and that made it did make a huge difference that did I'm glad I did that I'll, I will use that from from now on actually every time you're camping oh, lovely morning six degrees and I've got my road skin armoured hoodie on and I've got to say when I wear this this is better than my Oxford textile jacket no wind gets through this and I don't need to put my heated jacket on at the moment at all this jacket is just perfect at keeping the cold out oh actually with these gloves on this jacket and muted socks I could actually go out could go out riding all day in this I mean, look at that. Look at that for a Sunday morning. Helicopter up there. That's probably Viper actually. This probably took the private chopper home. Yeah, so what I'd found yesterday, my heated socks didn't feel as warm as they are now. Or as I was the very first day I tried them. I had the same setup the first time I tried them out. I had my RST perforated boots on, which are fine, and they're even like now, they're fine. But what I'd found out, like an idiot, I put perforated boots on, and it was raining ever yesterday, as you've probably seen. So when I got to setting my tent up, I took my boots off. My socks were wet, so that's probably why they wasn't, I wasn't feeling the warmth so much, because I was actually wet and cold. Well, I've got a mail on setting free. Setting free is perfect. 
it's now down to 5 degrees. Look at this for the day. You can't have days like this or weekends like this and knock about. It's just got to be done. That's what the sun was designed for, for bikers. Nice to see you last night, Mike Davis. Mike Davis come down to us, come and spend the night with us chatting. We had a right giggle, some of the stories we was going through. That's our winter's camp done. That's me done. So from me, goodbye. From Flash, he says goodbye. From Viper, he said goodbye. I'd imagine Antonio, the chef, says goodbye. And Mike Davis, we'll see you in Hedden Valley. Well, that's it. We are back home. Our journey is complete. Our winter camp is done. Time to get unpacked. Let's get this girl back in her bed. Yeah. Oh. That's it. We're off. So from now, so from me to you. Usha. See you on the next one. Yes, Shabusa.